the Battle of Hastings, the death of one man changed the course of history. The Anglo-Saxon King Harold was killed here, on England's south coast. His army defeated by William of Normandy. Anglo-Saxon rule was over forever. At Westminster Abbey on Christmas Day 1066, William was crowned the first Norman King of England. Now he had to secure power across the country. He began by stamping his mark on the landscape, building cathedrals and castles at strategic locations. Nothing like them had been seen in England before. They reminded the Anglo-Saxon population exactly who was in charge. But not all were content with living under Norman rule. Anglo-Saxon revolts broke out across the country. King William acted quickly to crush these rebellions. But there was one region where dissent was spiraling out of control. The north of England. In 1069, a group of lords from Northumbria formed an alliance with Viking invaders. Together, they approached Norman-held York, a large city with an important cathedral, still protected by ancient Roman walls. But the walls couldn't save York. The city and the castle fell to the rebels. William's new kingdom was under threat. He had to get the city back under Norman control. William had no choice but to order his men north. But as the Norman forces set off on their long march towards York, how much resistance from the rebels would they encounter? Damn, this almost feels like a documentary. King William's army faced an uncertain march to York, fraught with resistance from those opposed to Norman rule. 1969, three years later, from Hastings to York. I, I, I like this stuff here of telling a story. Alrighty. William the Conqueror marched north with his army of Normans determined to take back the rebel-held city of York. But in his path stood rebel towns that harbored William's northern enemies. He would take the towns back by force. The Normans captured the town of Middlethorpe, establishing their presence in the north. With reinforcements to his army soon arriving, William would need more resources to supply them. Okay. Okay, so there are my people. 
You're going there? Are you going to kill animals for food? You guys are going for... Uh, wood? Scout worker. Okay, so it still costs 50 food to build a worker. Okay, so here we have a natural um, barrier. So we don't need to worry about that. Berry bushes. Chris food. Yeah, where, where are berry bushes? Oh, nice. Oh, now they're following them automatically. That's nice. Okay. Scout there. There you are. Uh, kill. One more. Ah, there we can see it. It's a bit small. I'm not sure if I like that UI. It's a bit too small. This sign there. Um, what do we have here? House, mill, farm. So build more farms. And more of that. A uh, mill. Do we have a mill already? No, that's quite important. So we need a mill. Oh, nice. More sheep. That means more food. Um, lumber camp. Ah, okay. Mining camp. Do we have resources here? That we might need or want? I'm not sure. Uh, first we're going to take the cattle. Okay, so enemies can only come from this direction. That's okay. Heal our people. How do I do that? Um, you can go for wood and um, barracks, palisade wall, gate, outpost. Uh, you can build another farm. We need a lot of food. And uh, what do we have? We have only houses, right? So we're going to build barracks. Here. Um, go to wood. Damn, this feels like a modern version of Age of Empire. I like it. it didn't change. It did not too much change. It still feels like Age of Empire. So I just need to build a wall here and then we're good. That's nice. Uh, ah, there they are. Bushes. Up, 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 up. No. Okay, so we have enemies on the other side. But we can lure them over with uh, towers. Should be able to, at least. The other bush. And 
you're going to build uh, upgrade with weaponry and fortifications attacks were garrisoned okay so if I build this here first here so we don't uh, trigger them uh, she's going another farm Can what? What did just happen? How did those suckers just destroy my tower? We're going to build one there. Matters not to me. Um, what did just happen? What did these guys just attack me? Another rebel town, Fulford, stood in defiance to William's rule. That was a bit buggy, but it's okay. I want you there, tower. Spero in avance. Edifico. Donnez pour votre service. Où vivado? How do I get gold? I mean, I, I know how to, but I haven't seen any mines. was now well supplied by a town, but it would take a sustained effort to keep the army at full strength. Can I put them on the tower? Oh nice! Oh, I like that. Okay, I see. But we can't see them. Okay, that's odd, but okay. Oh, oh, that's a sizable force. What? Secco, escolto. Movers. Que comprendo. La <laughs> comprendo. <laughs> we know. And spend that. Okay. So cavalry there, you won. The guys of two. I like the fact that all these soldiers have um, their, well, shortcut number on their heads. That's quite convenient for me. Alrighty, so that's okay. We don't need scouts. Um, how about a few more houses? One, two, three, four. Nope, not there. Okay, so 
Ah, double the rate at which Tibullus chop down trees. Yes, please. Can we upgrade our age? Did it build? Ah, advance to feudal age. Oh, we don't have enough gold. Guess we need to attack. Already. You know what? Because, um. Oh, no, which that won't do. That's interesting. Okay. Let's just move forward. I mean, he can heal his uh, hit points, so we're going to use him mainly. Ah, I see, so there's gold. We need to conquer this first. The army we had. Fulford rebels eliminated, William was one step closer to York. Knowing he would face strong resistance in the city, William prepared to bolster his cavalry. So we need to bolster this. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. Escolto. Bene. Sì. Ma sono. Me. 
The Norman army came under attack from a new enemy, the Danes. army held back the Danes attack but they threatened to return unless William paid them in gold We're going, we're going to uh, destroy, of course. The Danes, of course, we do. We need to. Oh, of course, we will not. Of course, we do. Um, H two. What's the problem? What the hold up there? Oh, we, oh, right. We need to build a landmark. What is a land? Ah, selecting constructed dark age landmark. Ah, these archers at speed heals only by you. Oh, oh, no, healing is more important. Oh, nice, Nebby. I would like that. No! Glad I did not want. Oh dear. Okay, I need to rebind this. Okay. 
Sí. Oh, interesting. So you didn't have to research it at the headquarter, you just have to build the landmark building and then everything's working. Okay, so I want a blacksmith, of course. We can also build it outside. That's not a problem. Uh, you're going to build an archery stand right there. And I want a stable there. Where are we? That's working out good. Oh, villagers can shoot as well. Okay. Okay, melee attack, melee armor, new range infantry constructs siege towers and battering ram. Oh, oh dear. That sounds um. Oops. Oh, uh, awesome. Nice. <laughs> La Bourse Perance. Que mandes. Parate, Arkea, parate. Sagita in Arco. Parate pour venir. Ici va toast. Resti toi. Si sommes. Mandes squid. Yo ma sono la cosa. Che mandes. Benefect. Donets muevos a or vostro servicio. Parat por venir. Movo. Y affect. La guita in affect. La burro. La burro. Dire fact. Um, and we wish we can already destroy them, uh, I guess. At wager. Return all to work. Okay, so uh, I, I want a few more archers. Just to be sure, to be safe. So uh, we're going to wait for a little while. Wretch formation, line formation, staggered formation, stand ground. 
Uh -huh. right. Can my units... Ah, yes, we can still leave this building. So we're going to build another tower. Just so these Danes will get killed quickly. And we could always build just another archery range, but that would be lame, right? <laughs> Easy, obvious choice. Um, I mean, why not? We definitely need archers. So, right after the next attack, we're going to... Um, Check. And we can scout. Maybe there's something of interest here. You never know. Maybe not this attack. Maybe we're going to attack after that attack. <laughs> Let's cut first. interest then we own oh, oh, the enemy a lumber camp they took all the lumber away and there's gold that's interesting okay so let's prepare to Interesting. Siege Tower. Combat no combat capability. So uh, they can't shoot out of it. That's unfortunate. Incontinent. The Normans discovered the source of the Dane threat, an outpost on the water. William had a choice. Bypass the encampment, destroy it, or pay the Danes the gold they demanded.
In destroying the Dane outpost, William stripped the rebels of a crucial ally. William's ultimate goal was within his grasp. All that remained was to enter York and destroy its keep. Okay, so um, we're going to need to... Now we don't really need that, but what are they going to do? <laughs> they can cut down some trees. Um, riders, yes. Archers, uh, you're going to move there. Okay, uh, we definitely need to heal our people. Revive leader. Ah, okay, so every unit can revive a leader. And we're going to build a couple of battering ramps and siege towers. Not sure what we need exactly to take York, but we're going to find out. Attention! I mean, this is hilarious. The moment I wanted to attack, now they attack us. What? Oh, population. Damn. Oh, 
Well, at Siege Tower now is a bit unnecessary. Norman army poured into York and began sacking the town as they bore down on the keep. Whoa, from the back.
the keep fell to the Norman army, and York was secured. The Northern Rebellion was over, and William the Conqueror was uncontested as King of England. Alrighty, uh, we're going to take a look at the content. Uh, oh, nice, we have crossbows soon. And after that, I'm going to check the recording again if um, the crackling sound is truly gone, hopefully. Our Doomsday Book, page from history. William von won England by the sword and was merciless in replacing the Anglo-Saxon barons with the more loyal Norman nobility. His harrying of the north killed thousands, but it was a land survey that truly cemented his rule. In 1085, William sent out surveyors across England to record the land holdings of everyone in his kingdom. So thorough was the survey, it was said to be as if God were recording the state of the world on Judgment Day. The resulting Doomsday Book became the basis for land rulings for the next eight centuries. Although William's heirs would fall into conflict over the throne, the Doomsday? Oh, not Doomsday, Doomsday. I see. <laughs> Let's just call it Doomsday Book, it sounds better. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's Doomsday, but, you know, enshrined his people as the ruling class. I'm pretty sure we've seen that before. Yeah. Okay. At the Battle of Hastings, one weapon more than any other dominated warfare in the Norman period. The crossbow. Fourteenth century crossbows like this were the culmination of centuries of development. With limbs made of steel, they were incredibly powerful. But earlier Norman crossbows had limbs made of wood. There was a limit to how powerful these wooden bows could be. So the idea that Norman crossbows were a powerful weapon is really a myth. Despite this, they were effective at medium range and that was enough in battle. Drawing the bow repeatedly took a lot of strength. Thankfully, help was at hand. A crossbowman spanned his weapon with a device called a belt and claw. This gave him extra leverage, allowing him to use his back and legs to draw the string. Crossbowmen were vulnerable on the battlefield, so they carried large shields called pavises, so they could hunker down behind, load, pop up, shoot, and then duck back down again to reload. Crossbows were accurate, took less training, and used cheaper ammunition than the longbow. Most importantly, you could wait to take your shot, so they were perfect for siege situations. To protect crossbowmen when they were defending castles, they used specially built wooden galleries called hoardings. But shooting down towards an approaching enemy presented its own problems. How to stop the bolt from falling off the crossbow before it could be shot? What they did is just place the thumb loosely on the top of the bolt, which is just enough with light pressure to hold it in place. Around 1200, the Norman wooden crossbow was superseded by a new design, the composite bow. With limbs made from horn and sinew, they could be made more compact than a wooden bow. And they could deliver up to four times the punch. They were, however, more expensive. So whether on the battlefield or the castle rampart, simple wooden crossbows remained the main weapon of the day. Now this kid says how you do a game. I mean, 
I, I know all of this already because I'm interested in the medieval ages, but I like this 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 concept. You unlock content, you watch it, you learn something of actual interest, of value. And um, it fits right into this perspective that you just achieved or received by, by, by playing the game. So, um, well done, Microsoft. Well done. <sighs> Who's responsible for Age of Empire 4? Age of Empire 4... Is it still... Ah, it's still Relic Entertainment, in partnership with World's Edge, published by Xbox Game Studios. Um, well done, and also well done. Um, the game was released yesterday, and um, it runs flawlessly. I mean, surely we had few minor hiccups when you um, build something and... Um, the interface, the UI, um, tells you an error. And then you need to press escape. But other than that, uh, this is day one without a patch. Now compare that to other games like Total War, Battlefield, or Mass Effect, or whatever. This is a well-optimized game. At least what I've seen as of now. So um, well done. And uh, to you, <laughs> uh, until we meet again in the next episode. Before that, I'm definitely going to check out the recording. I want to make absolutely sure that there is no crackling sound, because that annoyed the shit out of me. Sorry. <laughs>